To use Lucidchart in Google Docs to create a graphic organizer, first you go to your drive and create a new document. Then inside the Google Doc, you'll go to the Add-ons tab. You'll go down to where it says Get Add-ons. And up here, you'd want to search for Lucidchart, uh, but mine popped up right here, so I'm just going to click the plus sign that says it's free. And it's going to install Lucidchart. You can click here to learn more, but I'm going to kind of give you a little walkthrough right now. And um, on the right hand side, so whenever you would open your Google Doc, you'd probably have to go to Add On and then go to Lucidchart, Insert a Diagram, or you could update and insert a diagram. And then this pane will pop up on the right hand side. So it has some. If you click the red create button, that's going to let you create and uh, be able to customize your graphic organizers a little more. But it already has some graphic organizers that you would be using. And if you see, if you click these um, in this window, you can see a preview of them below. So uh, depending on what your needs are, uh, I'm going to click just the two circle Venn diagram just to give you an example. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to click edit and edit will open your graphic organizer in the actual lucid chart pane. And you see, I've already kind of worked on this to give you an example. Um, it will let you edit the text in these boxes. Um, so when your students open the, if you share this with your students for them to input information, they will open the Venn diagram and they will um, have to click edit to be able to get here so that they can write in the different windows so that they can actually put information. Um, from this window, you can also do editing. You could change the color of the um, circles or the, the bubbles in your you know, flowchart or whatever type of graphic organizer you're using. Um, you could insert different things. You can insert um, a graphic, metric, text. Um, you can even, you know, I could make it, turn it into a three uh, circle Venn diagram by inserting a new, another circle down here. Um, so you can edit however you want. And then you're going to um, you can click Save and Close. And then you notice my Google Doc here is still blank. So then I'm going to click Insert, and it will now insert the two circle Venn diagram that I edited. Um, and so that will have my information there. From that point, uh, you know, if I was a student in your class taking notes on Romeo and Juliet and West Side Story, once I had all of my information in the Venn diagram, you can simply then just share the document like you would any other Google Doc. So um, you can create graphic organizers for your students, share them with students, have students take notes, and then have your students share those back to you so that you can keep track of that.